Morning, everybody. Morning. Hi, Eva. Good morning, Eva. Today is Monday again, or Monday already, November 4th, 2019. Why, Mia? Okay, so we're, we're done with the mysteries of the rosary, right? And besides, it's already the month of November, so we are going to uh, resume our gospel commentaries as we do every morning, uh, meditating on or considering the gospel of the day of the day's mass okay so today we are going to read from the gospel of st. Luke um, chapter 14 verses 12 to 14 and it's a short gospel and goes like this on a Sabbath Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees he said to the host who invited him, When you hold a lunch or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or sisters or your relatives or your wealthy neighbors in case they may invite you back and you have repayment. Rather, when you hold a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, Blessed indeed will you be because of the inability to repay you. For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. This seems to be a hard saying, right? Would you invite the poor, the crippled, and the, <laughs> the blind, and people with infirmities, or the homeless to your birthday party, for example? It's a tough thing to... Uh, to follow uh, but of course Jesus does not mean it literally that way as inviting them to a banquet it just so happened that he was in a banquet and uh, as we are told in the home of one of the leading Pharisees so you have to understand that the Pharisees were the uh, some kind of an elite class among the Jews they were the, the leaders okay and uh, they had a tendency, especially the corrupt ones, had a tendency to just circulate among themselves, among their little circle of friends. And, uh, you know, they, they uh, exerted that influence among a little circle and they just uh, catered to each other's um, whims, to each other's, uh, oh, that's better. They catered to each other's... Um, you know uh, parties and they do favors between and among themselves and so it's customary that uh, people who hold parties throw parties they want to be invited also into the, the homes of those guests okay? so our Lord tells them don't do that because uh, because you will already get your reward you get uh, repaid from your generosity and your charity <clears throat> So he said, uh, do not choose, do not choose who you uh, be generous to. Do not choose who it is you're going to give to. Do not choose who it is you're going to be charitable to. That is the lesson our Lord wants us to learn from this gospel. He wants us to practice the virtue of generosity, the virtue of charity towards everybody. There will be there will be no uh, distinctions of people, class, age, race, or whatever it is. Okay? Charity, generosity is or are virtues that uh, our Lord wants us to exercise far and wide to everybody and to anybody. Right, Eva? <laughs> so we do not make distinctions of who it is uh, who would be the object of our charity and that is that is the proof of real love okay real love of neighbor as our lord has wanted us to practice love your neighbor okay? loving our neighbor is part of the commandment of loving god right okay? when he when he was asked what are the what, what's the greatest commandment 
He said, love God above your all things, with all your strength, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. So the demand to love our neighbor is such that... Uh, <laughs> Eva, uh, uh, the demand to love our neighbor is a very, very important aspect of our living, of our faith. And we do not choose who this neighbor is. Okay? We do not choose the object of our charity. We have to try to be charitable to everybody. Now, now how can we live this, uh, this, um, this demand of charity in practical terms? Within ourselves, in the family, or within uh, your circle of friends. How will you do that? Okay? Well, number one, <clears throat> do not do a favor to your brother, to your sister, only so that they will return the favor back. Okay? Don't, don't uh, extend your help to a brother, to a sister, expecting that you're going to be helped in return. Okay? Freely you have been given, okay? freely, or sorry, freely you have received, freely you have to give. Okay? Uh, you do not expect anything in return for the kind of help, the kind of charity that you give to each other. Okay? Sometimes you can make a deal. Okay? okay, I wash the dishes this time, so can you do it for me the other time or this time because I'm not going to be there. That's a different story. Okay? Uh, we really need to have a distribution of, uh, of um, labor at home to do our chores. Once in a while, we take each other's chores. Okay? But that does not extend to the kind of charity we do to others uh, freely without expecting anything in return. Okay? So that will be the lesson from today's gospel. Okay? And let's think about this as we uh, go to Mass this morning and uh, receive our Lord uh, worthily in uh, the Holy Eucharist. Let us think and pray about how we can be charitable towards everybody who might need our charity, who might need our help. Okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good day. Bye!